The Court of Public Opinion is a part of the Amateur Radio Network. All right, and this news review is regarding the agitators, news agitators, Alex Jones, and the topic, of course, we've been discussing it. And now, now, now it's gotten to the point where I think we, we're going to bring it to the attention. Those who actually listen to the Court of Public Opinion, thank you for listening to this because I'm going to tell you, I don't know if anybody's ever been in a court of law. <clears throat> There's just some things that if the judge heard these cases and judge heard these cases, they would throw them out, number one, because they look at like just nonsense and agitation. There's something serious here that I, 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 I'm sorry if a lot of people miss this point. But not one time have I heard, and I, I'm going to name you guys, because you, you seem to be pointing out everybody else. And I, we're observing this, okay? Um, Alex Jones had to put a legal disclaimer out. I mean, he's literally, he could literally be sued for this. And all we're hearing is this rebuttal and agitators. I don't necessarily argue on content. There's a lot of information here. And there's a lot of important points to topics regarding the epidemic and crimes against children. But now it's become something totally different. Now, all I see is a lot of people responding. And there's a normal reaction. But it's unfair. Absolutely outrageous. And I know some of you have a huge following. So you're going to naturally react to the news story. And, and you should. Public should have a right to know these things. There's, there's, there's things you can, but there's limits too. I, I, I'm, I'm tired of this. Not one time have I heard reporters who have YouTube pages talk about the victim's case itself. You haven't even mentioned one time regarding the actual victims. These are active cases. I wouldn't be surprised if they... Start having a gag order on this. You're actually doing more harm to yourselves than you're really doing for the victim. You're not really representing the victims here. You're, I mean, you're representing yourself. That's one thing. But you're not representing the victims. Not when you turn this into a mockery. You know, I have to decide at one point. We're going to draw the line because we said we're going to draw the line. We said no. No more of this. We're going to draw the line at this. I, that doesn't mean I'm taking sides. That doesn't mean that somebody's uh, shallow and going to uh, totally abandon a story. But if you have a legal matter at hand, it becomes something totally different. Uh, I mean, really, I mean, I'm, so, I'm just stunned that uh, y'all got to get serious about topics. You're talking about some serious, serious matters that anyone who's been a victim of abuse would ask the same questions. Why are they misrepresenting this? Even victims, and I know I'm talking about older victims, not younger. There is a reason why they have advocates. There's a reason why they're assigned advocates. They actually have a real important job to do when it comes to this. But now it's blown up so much that you can't even retract it. It doesn't do anything for this case. And I'm grateful we have the court of public opinion because we can argue this. I'm going to uh, set aside what the actual story is. Okay, just please put it aside for a change. Start thinking about this. You know, I hear a lot of people with op-eds, and that's all this is, is opinion pieces. You all have your opinions, that's fine. You're, you're, you're allowed to have your opinions, but what happens when they silence your opinion? What happens when they silence and shut your channel off? Because your opinion, and the, the, the large opinions, like they're ready to be in the chip, that's, that's your choice. You actually have to make a decision for yourselves. If you're not going to listen to reporters and news who are put in risky and put in a very risky situation. Because at one point you have to decide what's in the best interest of you and your family. Because if your subscribers aren't behind you, that's it. It becomes a personal matter. It's a personal safety issue too. I mean, all of you have have to make good judgment calls. This, this lacks good judgment if I were to tell somebody. I mean, you could get in a lot of trouble for doing this. 
because there are just like in the Hippocratic Oath, you have to, in a way, you like there's kind of like this. I don't want to say law because there isn't. But you gotta be really careful with what you say, and I think there are a lot of people that didn't take enough journalism classes to understand you cannot just throw anything out there. Yeah, I mean, while there's a lot of people, you get a microphone and suddenly everybody has an opinion, and I'm sorry, it doesn't work like this anymore. Now, it, it goes back to something important. You can't just accuse people of things. You actually have to back it up with evidence, and even that doesn't necessarily even need the cases go to court. I've talked on this all the time. We even have a case that wouldn't even go to the district attorney's office because there wasn't, quote, enough information or lack of or more. Maybe there was too much. And then they, they don't even make those decisions anymore. They just let these cases pile up. There's not enough. Here's a, here's a downside to this. There's not enough advocates. There's, they're still asking for more help with advocacy. Here's the thing. If, if, I'm, if I'm thinking along the lines that, Maybe some people are. You want to be an advocate for kids? You got to legally go in and apply to be an advocate. Advocacy, in the, to the degree you can, an awareness project's different because you can have an awareness project. An awareness project allows you to do certain things. But nowadays, you have to have, uh, you have to have a, a, a vendor's license to go to events. You have to wear a press pass. You can't just walk in there and just say because I have an opinion on everything that suddenly, I mean, it doesn't work like that. It's really hard to try to wrap my head around that because a lot of us don't have the money to back ourselves alone, get a press pass. It's irresponsible is what it is. Now, if you just have a YouTube channel and you monetize it, I don't, I don't monetize anything. Uh, so it gives me access to like, just learn from this, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset that people think that this isn't that this is a credibility issue. Uh, it's not. It's not that at all. I think any wise person say you own your proprietor of a business, and you will be subject to fines, real fines by the county and by the courthouse if you go outside of that because there are like real problems here. Okay, so it goes back to this. The case has never been about Alex Jones. It's never been about the reporters. It's never been about David Seaman. This is about the people that are affected directly and indirectly about cases regarding these topics. And the problem is, is it got to get back to business. And people got to get into the business of represent, being represent, representing uh, the case a little bit better. Representing, in this case, if you're going to be a child advocate, that's another story. And, you know, unfortunately, that's just the way we, the world really works. Unfortunately, this is not the way we want it to go. Okay? We would love for justice to prevail. That's the whole point. And if you can't be careful, you can you can actually destroy the case. You actually hurt the case. I'm trying to point out something really important here. I don't know that anyone's going to get this. Now, family and the, the actual victims, there's reasons why they actually have to put... Uh, you know, that's why there's actually injunctions and there's probably sometimes an intervening legal intervention because it gets to the point where you can't, you can't control the content. I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I've been, I've always been concerned about this. This isn't something I start out from day one saying I'm concerned about this. I know there's a lot of facts and information and we, we could use it as like a, a, an educational tool, but I would be very careful with that too. And I, I, I even crossed the line on some things. I'm personally, I'll, I'll tell you my personal opinion. When I read that stuff that I see on, on the internet, I, I, it, there's just too much there. It really upsets me. I'm very bothered by what I've been reading on the internet. And I see the image. I saw the images of the kids. Yeah, there's something definitely questionable there. But when this becomes not about the kids and it becomes about the reporters, this goes back to journalism 101. You got to get back to journalism, you, you, you know, and it doesn't mean that you can't have an opinion. You got to be really careful about who you throw under the bus, though. That's where it gets kind of tricky. And that's just my point. I hope. The court of public opinion is a part of the amateur radio.